everybody, welcome back to Outdoor Greatness here on the LFG channel up here in the Colorado Rockies. Leaves are changing, so we are gonna be doing some adventure fishing today, taking the backpacks, taking the fly rods, maybe a conventional rod, and we're going to find some mountain fish. We have the perfect sponsor for today's video, and that is Fish Brain. Fish Brain is a tool that I use and that many other people use to find fish, find locations, patterns, species that you can go after. It's really an awesome app and this is the perfect situation to use it in. Before I came up here, I did a lot of research on all my different mapping systems and including Fish Brain, where it showed me where people are catching different species of fish. And I was surprised to see up here in the mountains, little remote streams, creeks, all I need is just a little sign. Okay, yeah, there's rainbow trout here. All right, yes, there's some cutthroats up here. And using the Fish Brain app, I was able to locate a remote mountain lake. There's not any fish catches shown at it, but in the general area, the miles surrounding, there are fish catches. And so we were going to go discover maybe the first catch out of this remote lake today. What I love about using Fish Brain is I can quickly log on. If I'm going to a new location like this scenario, I can instantly see where people are catching fish and even the certain times and the lures that people are catching fish on. So they have some new interactive features that'll really help you dial in exactly how to catch fish in certain areas and what times are best. At the top of the description right now, I've got a link to download the app and check out the premium features that they've got. They're really helpful in finding fish and figuring out patterns in new locations and just connecting with people and figuring fish out as a community. So shout out to Fish Brain for sponsoring today's video and an extremely useful tool for doing what we we're about to do. So got the wife with me, OSG. She's never been up, she's never been in the mountains period, but she's never hiked up deep into the woods. Uh, so we're going to be doing that today. That's going to be an experience. She's vlogging over at the Lake Life Family Channel and we are going to hike up to this remote mountain lake and try to figure these fish out. I'm hoping that once we get up there, they're going to be so dumb that they've never even seen lures. They're just going to start attacking and we're going to have a good time and maybe catch a mondo. Today's loadout on my pack. I have the fly rod attached. Inside I have a cook kit because we're going to be eating on top of the mountain. I have water, probably have about 16 ounces, maybe a little bit more. Some extra clothes in case the weather changes, starts to rain. I have my flies, of course, and very minimal tools, everything. I brought, this is my small pack, so it's packed to the hilt. And then Stephanie, she's got some of the extra stuff that we need in there. I feel like I have like snacks, meals. The amount of stuff you're the pack meal, your pack's a lot bigger it than mine. Is. Yeah, I've got snacks for us, I've got water as well. I don't know, I've got first aid kit, I've got Probably twice as much clothes as you do. Yeah, you probably do, of course, <laughs> in every girl's but fashion. I, I get cold easily, so I made sure. Well, you're about to you're about to learn what it's like to hike up a mountain and see what that's like. So, if you guys want to see from OSG's perspective, Lake Life Family Channel down below. She's gonna, <laughs> this is gonna be funny, y'all. It's been some pretty interesting moments so far. <laughs> Our spot that we're going to, I believe, is about 1.5. I think it's about a mile and a half away. So. It's, it's about a thousand feet up though. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Get ready. We have started our ascent up here in the, the shimmering birches. No, they're not birches, they're aspens. And uh, we're gonna follow the chute right here upwards. We're eventually gonna hit a trail there's like three small lakes and then one big lake I really want to hit. So the first small lake is like a mile and a half away. The really big lake is two and a quarter miles. So we'll at least be hiking five miles today. Really the thing is the elevation. We're going up a thousand feet. So we, we started at about 10 and we're going up to 11. This is a lot of what I dealt with last time is all these down trees. So we might have to hike up over some of those but above those trees way up there that's where we're going you can actually see the mountain top over there on the other side of that dead tree way up there
wrapping up here. We are about 30 minutes in to this hike and we've gone up, oh, I'd say a good 800 feet. So we got, we got another push. There's some mule deer poopies right there. Crusties, crumblies. have enough energy to move out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are old and dry. So we are officially up here at the elevation that the lake is at, but we still have to go to the lake. And we're just kind of walking along the elevation right now on some game trails. Look at that behind me. Incredible. So right behind me here is a giant meadow. I never saw anything this big when I was hiking, hunting for elk and we're gonna cross this. There's a little creek that runs kind of through here and I'm hoping it's gonna end up at this little lake. I don't know. You know, I was looking at this through the maps. Are you sure that trail, there's a bee around me. Are you sure that trail that you saw on your GPS wasn't an actual like creek? I can't be certain, honey. Because I see no trail. <laughs> We're in the deep forest now. I would not be surprised if we ran into some other animals up here. So we just walked through kind of a squishy area. Hopefully that's leading into a lake. It's gonna be back here, a little pond, they call it a lake. But it also feels like there could be something around. Mm -hmm. Something lurking maybe. Something lurking. It actually is very beautiful. I've never seen anything like all right, y'all, we just, we just found this trail I've been looking for for a long time. It's like an, a logging trail or something. And I can actually see the lake just through these trees, and it's bigger than I thought. So, this is awesome. We found it. We found it two hours later. Yes. Yeah, it's taken, us, it's taken us two hours. Yeah. There was, there was really no easy way to get up here, but we're about to, about to see what's going on. This is gonna be really exciting if we can actually catch trout out of here. This is, this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Holy cow. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, babe. This is awesome. Okay, we're coming up on it now. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. We found it. Whew. Looks like there's some grasses out there. Hopefully there's some fish in here. Some little sideline vegetation. It looks good. And there's no moose. No moose. There's, there's, no moose. there's no moose, we're gonna be fine. There is life. I'm just looking for that big hungry trout. Alrighty y'all, we've got the lake over here in the background. Now it's time to get our fly selection. I've seen some like polywog sand salamanders or something in there. So I don't think they're eating those. Those are a little big, but I don't even know if there's trout in here to be honest with you. Like this is, I don't, how, how would a trout get up here? I have no idea. If there is, this is going to be really awesome, but I'm going to go with a small little fly. This isn't my smallest one when it's pretty darn tiny. And uh, we'll see We'll see how that goes. We'll go from there. And we're just going to work our way around the edge of this thing. All right, got my fly tied. Just enjoyed some lunch with my amazing wife up there in the woods. Now it's time to see if there's any fish in here, actually. I know that there's life in here. I have to say this, this is probably one of the crazier like fishing videos I've ever done. I've been to some crazy places and fished like, big waters and you know different different types of things, but fishing a lake wet that I don't even know if anyone else has ever fished. That may mean there's no fish in it, but we're gonna find out.
Really don't want to have to wade out in this water either. <sighs> well, you guys, I am not sure that there are fish in here. There's like these little polywog things. I say polywogs, they're like little salamanders. They have legs. Look like tadpoles with legs. But I'm not seeing any trout swimming around the edge and I think I would definitely see those if they were in here. Especially with all this vegetation around the shoreline. Well y'all tried. There's no fish in here. I would have seen them. Hiked up here for like two hours. The other lake I wanted to hit is like another mile from here going up farther up the mountain. Probably gonna have enough time. I was hoping to get a big old trout in the middle of nowhere. Be an awesome story. Okay, we are walking up on another lake on our way back. Real inconspicuous, not as big, full of lily pads. And there's tons of elk and mule deer sign around here. This looks a little bit deeper than that other lake. Surely there's fish in here. I'd be able to see, I see one of those little polywog things. So it must have like, I don't know, they look like big bullfrog tadpoles, but they have bigger legs. So they must be some sort of like mountain salamander. If you're really hungry up here, you just scoop you up a bunch of salamanders and have some salamander hot dogs. I'm not seeing any surface pops. Like normally you would see um, every once in a while a trout just coming up and eating a, you know, a bug or something at the surface. I'm not seeing that. so. We're gonna continue down the mountain to try to find some moving water. Okay, we are in action. So I'm at the base of where these tributaries start, coming out of the lake. A bunch of ducks just got up here. It's really shallow. Way back in those tributaries, it looks like too shallow, um, like really muddy. So my hope is that they're gonna kind of be in this base. And I did see some way out in the creek channel. They're busting out there. So I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get one to come in kind of close here. I've got a lightly weighted fly on. Oh, oh, oh I, just, I see one feeding. I see one feeding. I see one feeding. Strip, 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 strip. He's gonna get it. Oh, oh, he missed it. He missed it. There he goes. Oh, we got him. Almost got it again. He almost got it again. He almost got it again. Oh, look, look. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. He's he's attacking. He's attacking. He's attacking. There's multiples. There's there's a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, y'all. There's a bunch of trout right here. There's a bunch of them right here. Oh my gosh, they're just not they're just not fully eating it. What is the deal? That is the most trout activity I have seen up here. Like there was basically three trout. Oh my gosh, get off my foot. I don't know if they saw me or what. What is going on there? They were going crazy. So close to eating, it was like, I might need to change the fly maybe. Oh, there's one, there's one. He's on it, he's on it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Woo, baby. Nice fish. Oh man, that was cool. Saw him coming, I just kept stripping it. He wabammed it. Gosh, up here in like the shallow end, that's only a few feet deep. This is a rainbow right here. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. Just gonna let him run for a second. I'm gonna get my pliers. That was awesome. Whoa. There he goes. Came out. Came off. See you, buddy. Woo. Yes. I think we found some trout. Babe, who's behind the camera right now. If I go along here and there's more coming, I'm giving you the rod. Go you don't on. even have to cast it that far. Really? Yes. Because you've never caught one on a fly. 
There was like three that came up right there. It was insane. So that this little creek channel that runs back in there, I think it's too shallow. And they're having to come out and they're piling up in this area that's kind of like leading into the tributary. So I don't know, maybe, maybe this was a good decision here. Let's see if we can get another one. Just saw one come to the surface over here. Oh, got him! Oh, shoot! I think he might have broke me off. I think he broke off my fly. He did. He broke me off. I'm gonna go with one of these a little bit bigger flies here. Hit myself right in the back. I can't cast this fly, it's too big. Okay, so set the hook a little too hard on that last guy. Broke him off. Went to a bigger fly, hit myself in the back. And now I'm back to uh, one of the smaller flies that that other trout took. Must have been a good one. I actually sight casted that guy. I saw him surface and threw out in the general direction and then got a response. I have to get this thing out there pretty far. The the, uh, the creek runs really far. Oh, 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 I see one, I see one, I see one, I see one. I see one, I see one, I see one. Strip, 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 strip. Oh, he's on it, he's on it. <gasps> he just flashed again. He's right by the shore. Oh, there's one right there. Good little boil on that guy. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Sight casted him. Woo, that was awesome. Spotted you, buddy. Spotted you. Look at this, this is a nice trout. Nice mountain trout. Oh yeah. Did you come down here? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Man, they fight. All right, buddy. Almost got you. This is just pretty. This is just pretty. Wasn't able to get him in that remote lake, but down here by this little creek there. They're in here thick. Okay, get you unhooked. All right. All right, y'all, there's a nice, you know, probably 16 inch trout. They love to flop around too. Let them go back in the mountain waters. Mm. <sighs> couple really nice trout right here i'm gonna try to get one more osg is making chili tonight with cornbread and we don't want to be late for that so honey can i catch one more if i see another one coming up there's one right there yeah there's one right there babe <gasps> there he is there he is there he is there he is, there he is. Come on, Skills. Yes. He's feeding right there in that little area. Just gotta make the right little presentation. I might need to change to a surface fly 
because I'm really seeing them come up to the top right now. I think I think if I got a surface fly, I think they would come up and pop it. Like a little grasshopper or something. Well, on the search for some surface dwellers now. A little bit harder to cast this fly, but I might just come up and get it. Oh, oh, trout got it right on the surface. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, good call on the switching up on the lure. Oh, 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 oh. surface. Surface contact. Oh, God, that was cool. That was cool. Switched up lures. Starting to see them come up top. I feel like an actual fly fisherman right now. Ooh, he's running out there. Switched up my tippet to a smaller tippet too, so I have to be a little bit more careful. I already broke one off. Okay, come here, Brutus. Great fight. Great fight. Go ahead and let you go. <laughs> he was a little quick on the draw. He was camera shy. Man, that happened really fast after I changed that fly up. So this is a little grasshopper fly. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I know these flies have different names, but coming up to the top. Switch up ski. All right, honey. I think we need to start heading back because I really don't want to miss your cornbread. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to have to make like a few more casts. No. A little stretch. <laughs> it's time to this go. Is, this is the way we're going. Okay. So let's just continue and there might be another one. Oh my gosh, they're coming up out there. Look at them. I'm tangled. I'm tangled. It's happening immediately. So fast. Watch this. Watch this. They're coming up. They're coming up. I've seen them. I've seen them. Oh, oh, he's got it. Oh, oh, he's got it. Ha! Ah, no. Ha! Ah, no. He hit it three times. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. OSG is already taken off. She's walking towards camp. It's probably about a mile and a half. I still see surface activity, but it's it's way out there where the little tributary starts. And I think they're they're kind of hanging in there and they push off on these this little flat right here because they can't go up in the creek anymore. It's too dry. Okay. That's all the mountain adventure we're gonna go on today. That is it for our remote mountain fishing adventure today. I will be on the search for more of those remote mountain lakes. The one that I found way up in the mountains today, all I had was like those salamanders, but there's, there's more up there. They're just a little too far. And I'm also with my wife and we can't be, a, can't be going like hard like I was elk hunting. But if you want to see the rest of our mountain venture from today, go check it out. Lake Life Family Channel, link down below. Stephanie actually saw her first elk, bull elk, pretty amazing. And it was her first time ever up in the mountain. So you can go check that out. And we have more action to come. I think we have one more decent weather day. There's supposed to be already snow on the ground. Like pretty much everyone has left the mountain except for us. We kind of got up here we're like, why, why is no one here? And we later ran into somebody, found out that is why. So everyone's packed up. They're heading down the mountain. Hopefully we don't have any snow, but stay tuned. It could get interesting. 
Thanks for coming along today. Signing off on today's fishing adventure, and I'll see you on the next one.